So my name is Eric Marcus. Uh, my, rager, my major is sports and recreation management. And I am currently in between my junior and senior year at Florida International. After graduation, I would like to work in ticket sales and guest service for a professional sports team. And I currently don't have any plans <clears throat> for graduate school. My expectations for this class is to more uh, learn more about the ethical assumptions and how it relates to sports and leisure and how people are judged based on who they are as a person and what kind of opportunities are presented to them because of those assumptions. Uh, to me, what it means to be ethical is to understand the principles that you live by, meaning how you treat people, how you view people, and what decisions go behind the choices that you make and how you carry yourself as a person on a daily basis, meaning how you go about your work and your personal life and how you treat others. <clears throat> um, overall, the people that have influenced my ethics the most uh, would be my father and my grandparents. Uh, growing up, they taught me a lot about how you treat others and the way you, tr how you want to be treated is how you should treat them. And even on your worst days, you should try to find a reason to be happy. Uh, and also, they, my grandparents and my father just taught me honestly how to carry myself on a daily basis and how to get through things that were challenging. Uh, overall, of the seven ethical assumptions mentioned in the first chapter, uh, the one that I feel that's most important is the one that talks about not judging people by just one characteristic. I myself uh, am Jewish and I felt like in certain situations growing up, people would judge me or stereotype that I thought or carried myself in a certain way, like towards money and how I treated others because I was Jewish and they just didn't really look past that and want to connect with a lot of the other characteristics that I brought to the table. Um, you know, as, as far as somebody like myself that grew up in a household where you're taught to appreciate everyone and, and, and understand people for the many things that go into making them who they are, you know, I don't understand why people are, are racist or sexist or don't like gay people or what have you just because of their life choices that doesn't make them a bad person or somebody that should be undervalued. Um, my overall experience in recreation and sports service, well, for nine years, I was a high school basketball coach. So a big part of that was presenting the importance of physical activity to, to teens, both girls and boys, and helping them understand the importance of exercise as far as, uh, the contributions to their mental, their mental and physical, physical health. Um, other than that. I have experience working with students who are autistic and had also had physical disabilities and trying to help them learn coping skills and life skills so that they, they could get through life uh, not having their individual disability being a burden on themselves and kind of helping them learn these skills so that they could be successful. I believe that leisure is important because it's important to take time away from the stress of your daily life and utilize things such as exercise and relaxing leisurely activities as it has a de-stressor, especially because it contributes to the improvement of your mental health, not just your physical. Leisure is extremely important to people with disabilities because, you know, they have it challenging already with whatever physical or mental disability they have. So those leisure activities are a way for them to get away from the challenges of their daily lives that someone like you or me might not have. So in that aspect, leisure is extremely important. It's also important for people with disabilities to participate in leisure so that they can have an equal opportunity to participate with the other members of their community, respectfully.
the stress of the game, it's 